Hi, my name is Caleb Weaver. I'm the arena director here at Lone Star. Super excited that you took the time to jump in and watch this short training video. It's not an exhaustive list of everything that you need to know about team roping, but it'll get you a good start. We just want you to know that no matter your abilities or your capability level with the arena, with the cows, with the horses, we want you because this is a ministry, not just roping. We want to glorify God. Let's go over here and take a look at some of the positions and the cattle handling procedures of what it takes to put on a team rope in here at Lone Star. So right here, as you can see, we're moving the cattle down the alleyway. This is the only job that we do right here that's just on horseback. Now, as we move the cattle further down, they're gonna be going into the holding pins. Once they get into the holding pins, we're gonna move them up into the alleyway so that we can rope them. Hey cattle, hey cattle, hey cattle. It's not uncommon to hear somebody hollering at these steers as they're pushing them up because contrary to popular opinion, most cattle are afraid of people and of horses. Once you get them up into the holding pen, from here, all the work is done on foot. So you don't have to have a horse in order to volunteer here. So right here, we're gonna be moving the cattle into the next holding pen. Generally, this is a two person job. We have one person in holding pin one and two and another person in holding pin three and four. But all we do right here is we move a few of them at a time up into this next pin. We have sorting sticks here that we use. This isn't necessarily to hit the cattle, but it's to help push them in the direction we want them to go. Hey cattle, hey cattle. Hey, 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 hey. So we're gonna move a few of them in, move them up to the next part of the line. Hey cattle, hey, hey. Hi, 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 hi. Shut the gate, then you're on to the next one. So right here, as we have the steers loaded up into this next crowding pen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run them up into the alley going into the chute. We're just gonna push them up nice and easy. We're gonna shut the gate behind them, make sure they don't run back. And as you can see right here, most of these steers have done this enough. They know what they're doing. So they'll run up into the chute pretty much by themselves. And as they get moved up, there will be another person up here that's a pusher and they're gonna be pushing the steers forward. We'll go ahead and move up and show you that. So right here, as we push the steers up into the alley going up to the chute, there's usually one to two people that help push the steers up. What we're doing here is we're just making sure that they're in here snug so that when they get up to the front of the chute, the head cowboy is able to put them into the chute and then the cowboys that are roping can rope them. So now that we're here and we have the cattle ran up into the alleyway, let's get an overhead shot of what it looks like to move the cattle in different directions and we'll break it off into quarters for you. So if we cut the steer off into quarters with this right here being right behind the shoulders, if we cut them in a quarter this way and a quarter this way, if we are on this axis of that X, that steer is gonna move away from us that direction. But if we get over here in front of the steer, we're actually in this quarter, we're gonna be pushing the steer back that direction. It's all a generalization, but as a rule of thumb, it's a good way to know if you're behind the steer, which direction they're gonna go. If you're in front of his shoulder, he's gonna go backwards. Now that we have a steer loaded up into the chute, let's watch a run and see what the team ropers actually look like whenever they nod their head. So after the ropers rope the steers, what's gonna happen is they're gonna have the ropes on their head and they're gonna have them down on their feet. This comes up into the strip and shoot. At this point, the cowboy is going to run the steer up in. We just kind of sit here and wait. So after they come up, we're gonna let one steer out. This one does not have, does not have a head rope or a heel rope. Now when this steer comes in, he's gonna have a rope on his head and a rope on his feet. We wanna get him all the way up inside of here so that he can't back out. We're gonna take the rope off of his head, give it back to the cowboy. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> and then we're also gonna get the rope off of his feet. So right here, we have the rope on the steer's foot. We have a special tool that we use. We do not wanna put our hands down there. We use this to just grab the rope, loosen it up a little bit so it comes off the steer's foot. And then we'll go ahead and let him out. And whenever he runs out, he'll step out of the, step out of the rope. Just like so. Then we pull the rope out and we give it back to the cowboy. Thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video. You know, here at Lone Star Arena, we, uh, we focus on more than just volunteering. What we do is more of a ministry and uh, the volunteering is a product of that ministry. We really need people that are willing to jump in, get their hands dirty and reach a world that doesn't necessarily wanna come into the church sanctuary. We care about people and we show that by the service we do here in the arena. Thank you all for watching this video. Get in contact with me if you wanna get involved. We'd love to hear from you.